Question number 20. The figure below is a quadrilateral ABCD in which AB is 8 cm, BC is 6 cm, CD is equals to uh, AD, angle ABD, ABC is 70 degrees and ADC is uh, 50 degrees. Uh, so we can see these two sides are equal. So we can draw a line here to come there and uh, because now this becomes an isosceles triangle this angle here is uh, 65 and this is 65 so that when 65 plus 65 is 130 uh, plus 50 that's add up to 180 uh, so calculate correct to one decimal place the length AC uh, AC we have been given an inclusive angle and these two sides so we can use the cosine rule and say AC squared is equals to uh, this side 8 squared uh, let's put that 8 uh, let's put that correctly 8 squared plus uh, 6 squared minus 2 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 6 uh, that is uh, the cosine of 70 or 70 degrees uh, which you can you'll be able to get uh, using your calculator you find that AC when you get the square root you you you, you get the square of uh, 8 plus uh, 6, 6 and you get minus 2 times 8 times 6 or 70 you'll be able to get uh, using your calculator you'll be able to get 8.2 centimeters so this means that this side is 8.2 centimeter. It is good you put it there so that uh, uh, you can be able to answer the other questions. Uh, but Roman number two, the length DC. This is the length DC. Uh, and what do we have? We have this side. So we have AC, which we have calculated in A. Uh, and because it is a, it is a nice stress triangle, we can draw a a line there uh, which bisect uh, AC and once you do that it means this is 4.1 and this is 4.1 and therefore we can this angle now uh, we get it is 25 and this is 25 because this is a perpendicular but this but this uh, line bisect the angle into two so we can now use a formula and say uh, sine 25 this is the sign of this angle because this is a right angle uh, the sign of this angle is equals to opposite and hypotenuse so this is the and we are looking for d so we can say the sign of angle 25 this angle here uh, is equals to opposite which is 4.1 uh, divided by uh, the hypotenuse which is dc so this implies that uh, DC is equals to 4.1 and you divide by sine 25 uh, which you can use your calculator and you'll be able to say get this is 9.7 uh, centimeter so this means that this is 9.7 centimeter and this is 9.7 centimeter because they are equal it is an isosceles triangle uh, the next part is the size of angle BAD BAD the size of this angle we already know this angle is 65 so what we need to find here is this angle uh, that angle uh, we can be able to say uh, since we know uh, we know this side we can say uh, we can say uh, we can say 6 that is we use this uh, the sign rule we say the, uh, this is 8.2 so we can say 8.2 divided by the opposite angle which is the sine of sine 70 degrees is equals to let's call this angle theta here let's call this angle theta it is equals to uh, uh, that is uh, 6 which is the opposite side divided by the sine of theta so we can be able to get uh, sine theta is equals to we cross multiply uh, we say it is 6 uh, 
the sine of 70 you multiply this and you divide by 8.2 uh, you'll be able to get this is equals to 0 0.6875 uh, so the sine inverse of uh, 0 0.6875 is equals to you get that angle is equals to 43 point uh, use your calculator for the 3.4 degrees it means the total of this angle uh, and that is angle we can write it here uh, you can say angle uh, BAD is equals to we say it is a uh, 65 you add to 43 point Four, and when you add you'll be able to get 108.4 degrees so that is the angle uh, the last part that is part B calculate the area of the quadrilateral A, B, C, D correct one that's more place so because we have this side and this side and we have the inclusive angle we can get the area of triangle A, B, C and say area is equals to ABC is a half uh, multiplied by 8 multiplied by 6 at uh, the sign of 70 so that will give us the, uh, the area of a triangle ABC then we add the other one we can say it is 1 uh, a half you multiply by we got this is 97 9.7 uh, this side the same as the other side 9.7 the sign of 50 uh, the sign of 50 degrees and you compute using your your calculator you should be able to get 22.6 uh, plus 36 which will give you uh, when you add this you get 58.6 and this is area so it is centimeter squared so that is how you get the area of that so with that you should be able to get uh, 10 months and that is how you work out that question.